Hello, I greet you with the peace of the Lord Jesus. This is another edition of the International Seminar broadcast on social media. And this is the publication on this Tuesday, the 22nd of December. And in this seminar, you're going to have quick objective lessons so that you can clearly understand God's project for your life. And today, we are going to look at a topic that is a question. Is salvation by works or by grace? As we are talking about the theme about salvation by grace through faith, against this, that salvation is by works, I would like to share with you a few biblical texts that will help you to meditate and conclude about this important topic. In the book of to Paul by the Ephesians 2.8, God's word says, because by grace you've been saved by faith, and this doesn't come from you, it is a gift of God. It doesn't come from works so that no one can glorify themselves because we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, that which God has prepared that we would walk in them. And we have learned much in these last few days about the grace of God, the grace that God has reserved for man with a purpose to redeem man to his original state of fellowship with him, which is salvation. And the word affirms that we are saved by grace, by faith. And we can understand in a clear way that this faith is the vehicle that God uses to guide man to an experience with him, revealing Jesus as the only and sufficient Savior and allowing man to be dependent on God every day. It's not something that man does or produces for God, but with this that he would be something in exchange as if he deserved it. It doesn't come from works. It doesn't come from any physical force or rational force or a mental exercise, but it is a fruit of an experience with God through the Lord Jesus. And we live a way that each day the Lord teaches us the more we depend on him, the more this faith feeds us and gives us the ability to live the great experiences that he has for his church. And the mark of the church throughout the centuries through the call in the, in the early church is the dependence and faithfulness of the miracles and the mar, mar, miracles of what the Lord mentions in Mark in chapter 16, verse 17, where it says, And these signs will follow those that believe, and these are confirmed in the life of the church until today, making it clear that faith is not produced by man's will. It is a, a generating force, and its origin is not here on earth or rational or dependent on any other human activity or strength. It comes from eternity. Therefore, there is no work that man can do. There's no action that he can do that can work in him this faith that brings him to salvation. As the text says, it doesn't come from works so that no one would glorify themselves. But we live, therefore, in, in reason that they call faith, man doesn't change his natural end, which is death. And he dies every day. But when he has an experience with salvation, where the grace of God is revealed to him, he discovers the more that he is dependent on God, the more salvation he has. The more he gives his life on this earth, the more eternal life that he has. And once we understand this great saving grace, everything that we want is to do God's work. And God's word says in John chapter 6, verse 29, that the work of God is this, that we would believe in the one that sent him. We can conclude, therefore, saying that the work of man is to do his own will, in the name of God even. But God's work is to only believe, and therefore, we do this work, this work that he determines, once again, by grace, or rather, by the unmerited favor, we are saved. And in the next edition on Friday, we are going to give continuity to this topic and see how this salvation works in your life when man discovers what God has done for him. This reflection was written by Pastor, Pastor Walter Babu in Rio de Janeiro. To all, peace of the Lord Jesus.